Welcome Libra. This will be a general love reading. So if you so happen to click on this reading, then trust that there is a message here for you. We are going to look into your past, present, and future. So we have the Four of Rings and the Two of Swords. Okay. Wow. You may not be talking to somebody here, but it still feels like there's unfinished business. We do have temperance. There could have been a clash or a something here that doesn't feel very peaceful at this time but let's see hmm. page of swords five of cups someone is feeling very sad the challenge is the king of cups yeah maybe this person i feel can be a bit one-sided it's like lovey-dovey one day, not so much the next, kind of push and pull, and it's a bit frustrating to deal with. The Five of, Cup, the five of Swords is here, so in their mind, uh, this is kind of a mind game that they're playing. Yeah, because they want to keep the connection together in a weird way. I don't know. I can't explain it. That's what I'm getting. The Five of Swords is saying that there's tension, there's conflict, there's irritability, uh, and mind games. Okay somebody has questionable intentions in the near future there's a stagnant type of energy again i feel that there's like maybe in your energy you're wanting more information or more clarity here with this swords energy it can be a bit restless or maybe getting information but i feel like there's a lack of clarity somewhere Okay, in the past, the lovers, the star, the queen of wands, and the high priestess. Okay, so something could be very silent here and being still, like now nobody's really talking to each other right now. Let's get this five of cups. This person's very sad with that page of cups. Now they want to come in and apologize or try to see if they can get your attention. It's a horrible game. What is going on? tower oh this is a, a past energy you already had a tower with that you already had problems with okay libra yeah i feel like there's a sense of wanting like making a decision like you're already kind of falling out of like love with this person or you're not even really motivated anymore or satisfied maybe like a spark here and there but the fire went out for sure. What's this, lovers? In the past. Yeah, you never really needed anyone in the first place. <laughs> but it feels like you were like either like like juggling with decisions here. Oops. But the moon. Mm -hmm. Everything has been pretty much revealed in this connection. Yeah, this person's coming off very uncommittal. They want to come in again, but they don't want to commit. Well, I don't really feel you trust them anyways because you already had a tower and things have all been revealed who they are. I feel you have a sense of who this person is. And the Knight of Wands is basically saying like this person goes in and out. Maybe you guys walk away or detach and then come back again. And it looks like they're coming back again. But with this, the, the Hague Man, I feel like you're just really tired of it. Like at this point, you're over it. You're just over it. Yeah, you're seeing this person's deceitful. They don't know what they want. Like they're unstable. It's a very boring energy in a way. Like it's it gets old. Like yes, it hurt when it hurt. Like they hurt you, but now it's getting a boring. Like this is what you see all the time. There's no improvement. There's no growth. It's the same thing in a way. You know? Yeah. So it feels like you you guys are coming out of. Uh, Oops, sorry. Yep, you guys are coming out of this. A lot of heartbreak for sure. A lot of healing, but so much strength. I mean, it took a, it required a lot of strength to come out of that. Even though in the past you really didn't even need them in the first place, but there, you mean know, you, you you gain emotion when you start talking to somebody, and um, I feel maybe it just turned a bit toxic. And now I feel like you're coming out of it with the eight of, eight of Swords. You're no longer really affected by it mentally as you did before. Like if this person comes out, comes in, it's like, can't really take them seriously anyways. You don't take anything personal. 
you have the six of wands there's a lot of attention and recognition and accomplishments there's a lot of victory coming your way and a lot of milestones being hit your life is only improving here with that three of wands and the outcome and i feel like you may be surrendering this person because they it feels like like you're already healing, you're already, you already have this confidence, you're listening to your intuition. Yeah, you're very intuitive. So let's go ahead and get advice. I feel like you're just pretty much over this, this energy. That's what it feels like for a lot of my Libras. Try and help yourself, or a lot of the, <laughs> you guys. Try and help yourself before asking help from others. You are no longer able to hold back. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't even want to deal with you anymore. <laughs> you know, be prepared for difficulties and they will be easy to overcome. You read this person very well now. There is some urgency to communicate directly. I don't know, maybe out of boredom for some, you know, like, I don't know. Or maybe curiosity follow your heart and stop rushing take time to be still in order to see things clearly yeah this, I'm, Libra you're a very confident person okay let's see their silent heart I want a new beginning with you repetitive cycles yep yeah, that's that yep it's a repetitive cycle, something that, you know, somebody from the past. Will you give me a second chance? So it looks like somebody's trying to come back again. I feel lost without you. Silent treatment. Yeah. I think you're just over it. To be, I just feel like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just feels like, oh. Feels like you're over it. I will find my way back to you one day. Heart, I love you. I don't even think you believe that. I'm staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is hurt you. I don't even think you believe that either. And energy, you've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We were connecting and anger. I'm upset and I need some time to cool down. Maybe this is a very impulsive energy. Um, like you're moving forward. You're very victorious. Trust the universe. Yep, you're trusting the universe here. First quarter moon in Aquarius. Sorry, too many cards there. Well, so many cards. Hold on. All right. <laughs> okay, that almost went in the fire. Yeah, know your worth. It's exactly what you're doing. You know your worth. And step into your power. That's what you're doing here. Yeah, so... It looks like they're probably surrendering somebody for good now. Yeah, it's like closing out a cycle. Um, let's get the love message here. Only time will tell. Surrender. At, must, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. All right, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Um, this is the message that wanted to come out. So I feel a lot of you guys are surrendering. And there's a lot of victory coming in in the outcome. Uh, and there may be an energy trying to come in again. But I feel you may be surrendering this person now. I mean, maybe you already have. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you guys. <laughs> if you do like this message or if it helped or resonated in any way, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon, Libra. God bless.